Hey guys, what is up? Per request from an awesome viewer, we are going to look at Cancer Genetics Inc. Stock ticker CGIX. Um, as of October 9th, 2019, the stock is actually hovering around the 17 18 cent mark. Yes, I said 17 to 18 cent. I think this is one of the lowest uh, stock. Uh, pricings I've ever looked at so we are gonna dive deep into this and talk about the company and stock itself so here we go per Yahoo Finance they have a one-year target of three dollars so keep that in mind right now they are at 17 to 18 cents about with a one-year target per Yahoo Finance at three dollars if that is true if that comes to fruition that will be a big gain uh, their 52-week high is 96 cents. Their 52-week low is 9 cents, so about half what it is now. Their market cap isn't too big, so they are a mighty small cap company, around the 10.5 to 11 million mark, uh, depending where their stock uh, price is at. They do not pay a dividend. So, they... As you can tell, they are off quite a bit from their 52-week high of 96 cents, but around the 17-day, 18 cent mark. It's easy to uh, buy quite a bit of these. You can spend $18 and buy 100 shares if you want. And if it goes up to the $3 mark that Yahoo Finance um, adjusted and predicted, depending on the news that are coming out about uh, cancer genetics, this stock can make you money. Um, depending how much you want to put in. Again, I'm not telling you to buy this or not. Do your own research. But uh, if it is. Um, if it can reach their one year mark, then that could be a big win. So still per uh, per Yahoo Finance, this company is in the healthcare, uh, healthcare field in the biotechnology sector. Uh, their home base is in Rutherford, New Jersey. And right here, I'm going to put their website down as I read it out loud, is www.cancergenetics.com. So let me read their description and... Uh, keep going into their past earnings from August uh, 2019. So this description is uh, partly from their website and also from Yahoo Finance. That light is right in the middle of my face. Huh? It looks like I got a, I got a light mustache. Um, Cancer Genetics Inc. through its subsidiary Vivo Farm provides contract research services primarily focusing on studies to guide drug discovery and development programs in the oncology and immuno-oncology fields in the U.S., Europe, Asian, Pacifics. Its clinical offerings include a portfolio of proprietary tests such as comparative mnemonic uh, hybridization microarrays and next-generation sequencing panels, gene expression tests, and DNA fluorescent in situ hybridization probes targeting hematological uh, urogenital and HPV associated cancers in conjunction with um, ancillary non proprietary tests. That's a big mouthful. So you can go to their website or go to Yahoo Finance and see their description. Um, so just some news and some information about this stuff. Uh, a company called Inter, um, Interpace Diagnostics, uh, they bought cancer genetics biopharma business for $23.5 million around July 17th, 2019. So just keep that in mind when you're uh, investing and looking into companies uh, about what portion or what section of their company is being sold and or being bought out. So again, um, Interpace Diagnost Diagnostic, damn it, Interpace Diagnostics buys cancer genetics biopharma business for $23.5 million around July of 2019. So let's dig into their Q2 2019 earnings report. So within uh, cancer genetics Q2 29 uh, earnings report, I'm going to put some numbers up on the screen as I read off some highlights. So in Q2 2019, they increased their discovery services revenue by 19.1% compared to the same period in 2018. Uh, this would be um, also while reducing the combined quarterly cost of revenue from continued operations by a 0.4 million. 
So I'm going to read this here. Gross profit margin for continuing operations was 52.5% um, for $0.8 million in the second quarter of 2019 compared to 31.7% or half that uh, $0.4 million in the second quarter of 2018. Total operation expenses for continuing operations for the second quarter of 2019 were approximately $1.6 million compared to the $1.9 million in the second quarter of 2018. This is a reduction of 16%, which is a good thing. So their cash and cash equivalents as of June 30th, 2019 totaled $0.7 million, that's about $700,000, compared to $0.2 million as of December 31, 2018. So they're doing pretty dang good. What else? What else? So as I mentioned in their description, uh, their subsidiary, subsidiary Vivo Farm, they acquired this company for about $12 million back in 2017. So what do I think about this company? What do I think about uh, a stock running about 17 to 18 cents uh, cancer treatment? Well, let's look at the medical field for one. The medical field, um, I think, will um, expand and uh, give give good earnings. Um, but I think the healthcare field in the United States is going to be readjusted quite quickly with the high costs of, of medical bills and or hospital stays and medication in general. But I think the research part is um, where it's at, as in this company right here. Um, any company that has to deal with cancers, uh, diabetes, um, and or life-threatening illnesses, I think will be a big uh, component to your earnings in your portfolio if you decide to invest that way. So what did I do? Well, I put about basically $20 in this stock the other day where uh, one of my viewers uh, suggested to look into this. And so that's basically 100 shares I bought in my Robinhood app. I didn't want to pay any uh, commissioning fees since I'm only paying uh, $20 for this. So I didn't want to pay a like a $5 fee. That's basically 25% of this. So I used my Robinhood app, which is a great thing to do. No fees at all to buy or sell. So I bought 100 shares just so I could keep up on the news. Um, if it reaches the one year target mark by Yahoo, that'd be great. That'd, that would earn me a couple hundred bucks and uh, be on my way. So um, this is an easy one to invest in. Very, very easy being this inexpensive of a stock. Like I said, about 17 to 18 cents. Um, I think with their earnings growing, uh, with their revenues growing, um, this is a pretty good field. This uh, biotechnology um, in the healthcare realm is a good, um, a good industry to look into. Uh, Cancer Genetics by himself, looking at their websites, I'm going to put up here. Um, through what they present, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty promising, but like I said, I think the healthcare field, along with the medication, um, is going to be rocked a little bit in the United States in the coming up years. Um, but the uh, research, um, I don't think, is going to be as rocked as the um, like the medication field. Um, would I would I purchase this stock if it wasn't a speculation stock? If I had just a limited amount of money to invest, would I invest into this? No, I would not. Um, I would keep more towards a blue chip stock. But if you do research and do your due diligence and have an extra 20 bucks or an extra 200 bucks or an extra 18 cents to invest into a company, might as well do this. Um, like I said, if it does reach even half of the one year target by Yahoo Finance, um, I think it will uh, it will pay off. Um, with that being said, I'm going to be open. I did, like I said, bought 100 shares into my Robinhood. Um, tell me what you like. Tell me what, what your suggestions are. Like I said, if I had a limited amount of funds, I would not. Um, I would look elsewhere. Uh, I don't want your money to go to zero. Um, but like I said, I only spent basically $18 on 100 shares. So thank you so much for letting me look into the stock looking um, at their quarterly uh, Q2 2019 earnings uh, basically going through uh, their acquisitions, their business being acquired, and or what they're doing for the future. So um, I think anything to help people out healthcare-wise to make their lives easier and healthier is a great company in general. Um, so yeah.
take care guys and I uh, thank you so much and please submit any other companies you want me to look at have a good day guys bye